to the tape. Let's dive into the tape. Mike Rupp with a yager like salute. Roll the tape. Rupp with a shot. He's got two goals for Mike Rupp. Look at him go. Tape to tape. Let's diggity dive right into the tape. All righty, all righty, all righty. We got big hockey, big games. Two big boys here. Look at Stu. Stu, where are you going? You got the pap stick. The all white. Well, I, I, I like that I one. I grabbed the first one off. Hey. I got a righty. Yeah, we were just I like talking. That bend, though. Yeah, we were just talking. We've got the Patty Kane stick here. What'd you say it was? Is a hundred some flex, right? Like it's a 102. I a lot of guys now using 65, 70 sticks. I mean, Patty Kane using some stiff stick. But anyways. I think Bedard uses like yeah. a 65 or 70. All right. yeah. That really. That light, I think or so. that, that flimsy. Okay. Uh, anyways, we're not talking about that right now. We're talking about the New York Islanders because all of a sudden the New York Islanders have kind of made this really interesting. Gone on a nice little run, but we have to point out really interesting thing. I mean, pretty gutsy call maybe by Patty Wall, like he's riding Varley right now over I, Sorokin. I, I love it. Um, I, think, I think he's been forced to really look at this harder, but the part I love about it is, remember, if you go back to Colorado, um, Patrick Waugh had Varlamov as a starter in Colorado, and having covered the Central Division back then, while with the Preds, I'm telling you, this guy was winning some was games good, all by himself. He was fabulous. That was, you know, I think if you had Varley speak to this, that was a period in his career where he was on top of his game. Yeah. He really was. I, he had gone through some personal challenges in around that time, um, but he came he came through it playing some of his best hockey. And you got to go with the hot guy, especially this time. Every yeah, game, every great. win is, is life or death. Let's take a look at Varley's last six, 4-1-0. He's been lights out. So, I, or, sorry, 5-1-0. Because uh, 4 plus 1 is actually 5, not 6. So uh, <laughs> that's my mistake for just reading it. But you guys, come on, man, be better. You put 5-1 and one up there. Anyways, uh, let's go. Uh, so he's got six games, 5-1 and one in that stretch. So a big part is Varley, goaltending. Yeah. And that's been the thing with this team. At the beginning of the season, they were getting good goaltending. It was bailing them out because they had had a lot of defensive lapses this year, which feels really weird because that's supposed to be their M.O. They forged their identity on being, remember, graduated under Barry Trotz to a spot in the Eastern Conference Final when they, they weren't the most dangerous group out there. They got there based on structure. Good goaltending, yeah. of course, but it was, the, it was just the suppressive, uh, oppressive structure yeah. that they played with. And, and they've kind of lost that. But yeah. right now, they're getting goaltending. It's bailing them out over this last stretch. They're, they're in a great spot, and they need to continue to win. So we got a couple clips here of just some good defense that they've done. So if they could just do some more of this, right, get yeah. back to what they used yeah. to be in some regard flashes with that goaltending. Flashes of what it needs to look like. Yeah, they, they'll be all set. Not they'll consistent. be all set. But this is the layers, and this is what I love here. Look at this picture, how nice this picture looks, because you've got – uh, you, you just got everybody's accounted for, right? Like you've got these three Ranger players. I mean, everyone's accounted for. Where do you want to do? You want to move this pass? I mean, it looks like you want to move it over here to Mika Zibanejad. You don't really have any other outs, and you're also going to have. Let's not forget, there's going to be some some forwards up in these areas uh, that are going to be coming down in D zone coverage. So everything's just keep them on the outside. Everybody's accounted for. Stick in the lane too. Stick right? in the lane. Details. Yeah. I mean, tiny little details like that. But this is perhaps, you know, the, the only two-on-one on, on the ice right now, and that's what we're trying to create if you're Rangers. That's the only two-on-one on, on the ice that could hurt you, but you've eliminated yeah. you've you know, he, But he you've, knows. He you've, knows neutral, what, you've neutralized that just by yeah. virtue of your stick position. There's some structure here. Watch this. Roll it forward. Stick in the lane. Break up the play. And then... I love this. Getting a little battle here. Look at the support. Now, now we're talking. I mean, check out this picture right here. You've got, in this area, you've got five New York Islanders to the three Rangers, right? And the close support, so you know close support is going to be to the middle of the ice. Bang, bang, bump, everybody run, go the other direction, roll it forward. And this is what they've been doing a better job at lately. And you get that kind of swarming where you've got so many bodies in the picture. And here's another one, same kind of idea. Puck goes in the corner, man up here. Look look what we're seeing here. We got five Islanders that are all shrinking. And their, their D will come, or sorry, their forwards will come back in D zone pretty far. But what are you supposed to do here? I mean, you, you, what are your outs? You can throw it back here? Oh, cool, this guy's jumping the play down here. You can you can throw it blindly out to the point. That's a that's a good out. I'm good with you with, with that. You want to throw the puck out to the point. You guys stay on the outside. This is yeah. great execution. Reloading back to the net here because this is a threat from this spot. Not an immediate threat, uh, you know, given the yeah. position of an attacker down there. But that's reloading back above the puck to be in a good spot to support your net. We want to see this type of picture all the time. If you're New York yeah. Islanders coaching staff, roll it forward. 
and it's just, you know, they just, they're just swarming right now. Get the puck up and get going north. This is you, Stu, on this one. It's against Nashville. Yeah, and Nashville plays a, you know, a, a really a, a connected, uh, very supportive kind of a forecheck. And here's a situation right here. Like, here's your biggest threat at this moment in time. It's Philip Forsberg. But watch the way we react and jump down to Forsberg. Right here, we're going to pin him to the wall as he cycles down. And really, I mean, you've seen him play lots. This guy is a handful, yeah. Forsberg is, when he's in this type of position, uh, Rupper. But here's what I really like. Um, great support just down where Forsberg is concerned. Again, Forsberg is a threat down here. This is about to become a threat. But watch how things kind of, watch how these two players right here, Here's the support down here, and I believe that's Barzell in the deep corner. Watch how those two uh, roll it forward from there. Watch how they adjust to play down low. So stop it there. Pinning Forsberg, great. No better way to, no better way to kind of uh, separate or sort out coverage than to create a little contact. And again, he's in a position where he's a handful right there. But watch Barzell. Barzell ends up being a really interesting part of this. He's going to retreat back. Uh, kind of away from that battle. So he's kind of neutralizing Ryan O'Reilly as an attacker here. Let it roll forward from there. Little details. Put yourself in the lane. He's great support and neutralizes Ryan O'Reilly in the process. So uh, Barzell's in a really good spot there. And I mean, here's here's one thing I'd prefer to see different. Again, it's, it's difficult uh, to contain a Philip Forsberg down in this area, but you want to be closer in time and space and have you know have his hip pinned to the wall if you can go ahead and roll it forward from there because he ends up making that play with his boot um back it up just a second i wanted to highlight one piece of this right here um support kind of um almost hovering just seeing what's going to happen right seeing what's going to happen but again you know, if that puck dies on the wall, he's giving himself the option to, to join a swarm right there, but he's loose enough so that if things do pop out in terms of a play to O'Reilly and uh, like we're going to see a quick two-way passing play, he's in good position to, to, uh, to shut down that net front um, that net front attacker and neutralize the chance. So watch how that unfolds. Go ahead and roll it from there. Look at the stick on stick right here. This is perfect right here neutralizes that he's he's close enough to both battles or one battle and then hire a potential threat so that um, he's able to kind of manage both I think that's a really smart piece of positional hockey go ahead and roll it forward from there yeah neutralizes that and the group's out of trouble you stick on stick yeah great multitasking and really good detail positional detail yeah same same thing here look at this picture this is what we looked at before you got five islanders in the picture you got preds i mean what are your outs your outs are always for nashville you can either go back along the wall to the point you can throw it back down in the corner that's all good if you're against the wall as the d defensive team that's where i want you to be you're on the outside you know and they have support they have layers all right if you're able to make a move and dance off the defender, you've got another layer. Then you've got another layer. Like, look how many layers there are to the net from yeah. the puck. And, uh, you know, you, you jump in here. What, what I like here, Rupper, you know, this this is a simple piece, of course. You know, there's, a, there's your puck possession. Um, uh, uh, an attacker's got possession in the in your defensive zone so you're anybody that's you know playing any any sense of a sound defensive system that piece is going to be kind of neutralized you're not worried about that but the point i want to make is how about the positional awareness right here the only other two threats as attackers in the zone you're within a stick length of each of those guys so that on the off chance that this does break down and it creates a chip there, creates a chip there to either this player or that Preds attacker, again, you're within a stick length and you're gonna smother that. Go ahead and roll it forward from there. Cycles down and that's exactly what you've got. There's the very opportunity we thought might develop, but he's in yep. really good position. Now this player, the ability to make a play in the offensive zone requires uh, time or it requires space. Where does the attacker have space to go anywhere? Nowhere. He's smothered, you know. So again, it, it all comes out of great positional awareness. The minute that player becomes 
um, you know, be, becomes an attacker with with possession, you're all over. Yeah. And, and last thing I want to take to that, good job. Any board plays, you go in there, you strike, you get out. So right, you strike, it goes to your. He goes to the other guy, you get out, get off the boards, because now you can make some plays and be that second layer and kind of readjust. But, hey, so we, we showed some plays here. And, again, their defending hasn't been all that great. It hasn't been great all season. They're doing some of these plays to help out right now. Great goaltending. But I wanted to bring in someone else, an expert, that watches the Islanders on the day-to-day. -day. Who do you have in mind? I, I got to go Tommy. Uh, Tommy. Tommy Hickey. Tommy. I never call him Tommy. It might stick, actually. Thomas Hickey, a little prefers, more distinguished name. I think he prefers Thomas. He may not, Thomas? He may not what pick the up. Rump? No, we'll go Tommy. He may not pick up. Hey, Tommy, you there, boy? Tommy boy, you there? <laughs> Tommy, okay. I yeah, never, I can work with that, Robert. I, I never called you Tommy before, but I kind of like it. So uh, I'm going to probably go with it. Tommy boy, <laughs> what do we got going with this team? What's giving them this bump right now? Because Stu and I were looking at like some of the numbers aren't really like lights out defensively right now. Maybe some of it's timely defense. You know, Varley's been fantastic. What are you seeing from your vantage point? Yeah, I mean, you mentioned it. It starts with goaltending. First and foremost, Semyon Varlamov looks like Semyon Varlamov of 10 years ago. And that's not to say that he hasn't been his normal self all the all the while between then and now, but you're looking at a guy that's so technically sound, and mm -hmm. the shots that he's getting and the shots that the Islanders are giving up, uh, it, it just plays into his structure as a goaltender. He's been so square to everything, and I think for them, things have just things have been a lot more simplified. And the great opportunities that they give up, I think, as a goaltender, when you go through your reads. He's able to predict those, so it's been fun to watch. And I, I think Patrick Waugh, you know, you get a new coach come in, you guys have been through this. It takes a while to sort of understand what he wants from you in your defensive zone. And this is a group, if you look at the metric, near the bottom of the league and in a lot of the, the primary metrics that tell you how well you're defending, but since they've gotten hot, they've just been really good with their support. You know, they, they, the objective is, to pin someone and then have support right away. And that guy will come in and you're sort of going to outman people, but you want to do it in layers in case something breaks down. And that's been a standout thing from this group that it, although they've given up some zone time, uh, it hasn't been all that threatening. The other team might have the puck, but uh, it's not too dangerous. And when it is, uh, Varlamov, Varlamov's had just phenomenal reads and he's been square to those shots every single time. Hicks, you talk about the the structure, and that's, you know, Rupper and I were talking just a moment ago about, you know, this group, the core of it really has had that in their DNA going back a, a good number of years. It's obviously something they've got away from, but in in your in your estimation, since Patrick Waugh has taken over, is this an important point of emphasis where he's concerned? Is this a, is this kind of a, a part of the daily, um, you know, daily awareness where practice and perhaps, uh, you know, game applications concern? Absolutely. Uh, that, that was the number one thing when he took over. It's how do you, how do you correct these habits that have seeped into your game and made you sort of a poor defensive hockey team? And that was number one for him. And every single day when they practice, a lot of it is starting with breakouts and coming out your own end with possession. And I think in the past they just spent – too much time running around, giving up quality looks, and by the time you get finished with your shift, it's 40, 50 seconds, you're exhausted, alarm bells are going off, you're trying to get off for a change, and you don't have anything You don't have anything else to work with in the tank, and someone else is hopping over the boards, and they're in a defensive posture right away. So I think they've killed plays quicker, but they've also been able to conserve energy with how smart they've been defending. And it is still a work in progress, but you can see, uh, you know, the results as they've been winning. There's more energy. There's more left to spare. And that's all because they've looked after taking care of the defensive end. Hey, they got a little bit more work to go, like you just said. But, I mean, it's looking pretty good where they've played themselves into. We'll see if they can get it done tonight, UBS. And I respect the heck out of you on your crotch rocket heading into UBS to call this game tonight, buddy. We can hear you getting her going on the, on the got, Long Island Expressway. Got, I think he's got the – he needs to fuel you, up the Kawasaki guys, right now. Yeah. You you are exactly right. I am on the <laughs> Long Island Expressway, and I think there's a car that uh, hasn't had a state emissions test done in, uh, in about 20 years. That's that's not me. I'm in electric mode right now, boys. I'm, I'm oh, okay. All quiet. right. Hey, we'll doing the right thing by the hey, planet. Doing yes, the right thing. Yes. <laughs> Islanders keep doing the right thing. They'll be inside this playoff uh, for a nice, exciting run.